There are many challenges in the world, sometimes presenting conflicting ideas. At NTT, we want to try and bring harmony across these different ideas, cultures, and perspectives through our business activities. NTT created the Sustainability Charter as a way of showing how we want to help create a better world and society. The belief is that we are better when we work together, connected with other people, and the world around us, including technology. NTT is very focused on this goal and has committed to becoming carbon neutral by 2040. We also want to increase recycling and promote the conservation of nature. Sustainability is a broad topic. That being said, a lot of the research points to energy usage as the top concern for most companies. There's been a lot of effort put into stating policy, stating guidelines, and objectives for companies you are going to be carbon neutral or net zero by a certain date. How are you going to get there? Do you know where you are today? Our team here at NTT with Smart World, we're helping to measure so that you can then manage because if you can't measure it, you cannot manage it. And so doing that and getting companies started along that path, along their journey, is what we're really focusing on today. You need to get started. Take an example of the building I'm sitting in here in Sunnyvale. This building is 100% connected. There are devices all throughout this building that measure occupancy of conference rooms or, or offices. They measure the heating and the cooling through a connected interface to the internet. There's the ability in a building that is almost alive, if you will, to be able to provide not only the data to the owners of that building, but by virtue of that, the owners are able to make better decisions around how they not only use the energy, but the comfort and the use and the services that that building provides. Truth and Sustainability Dashboard is a method for us to display how a company is doing in terms of their energy footprint. We monitor carbon, we monitor energy, we monitor heat and air conditioning, water, and we look at all of those things together to understand how the building is progressing across their energy footprint. We do that here. We actually perform some data analytics on it to, to trend out the next several months so that the, the owners of the building and the, and the people here that are managing that have an idea of what's coming. Sustainability is a, is a big component of what we do in the data center business. Data centers use a lot of power. Our clients are using a lot of power. We need to be as efficient as possible uh, as we grow that business. We build and operate data centers uh, around the world. Uh, we're actually in more than 20 countries and running almost in excess of 100 data centers. COVID actually accelerated a lot of the demand for data centers as we all moved into a more virtual environment. Santa Clara, from a California perspective, is an interesting double-sided market for us. Number one, the temperature conditions in this area really allow us to efficiently take advantage of the cooler evenings, cooler winters, to cool that data center and run it more in a sustainable fashion. When we look at the data center, we're constantly looking at ways to be more efficient uh, and increase our sustainable options that we're providing to our clients as we continue to grow that and as they continue to grow. There, there's a community element of that, which is, you know, it's important for us to be good stewards, uh, you know, in the world, but there's a financial component as well. Uh, you know, we want to be efficient because there is a cost benefit to being more efficient as we run our data centers, and that cost is, is most often passed along to our clients. So the one thing that's changed in the sustainability discussion is that topic has become more broad. It's expanded beyond just efficiency. So now we're looking at how do we build the data center in a sustainable fashion. So we're talking about sustainability from the beginning of the construction process, through the design, all the way into operation, I'm becoming much more heartened by where we're going because I think we're finally at that point where people are saying, this isn't something where I can just buy a credit offset and forget about it. This is something now I need to think about how I can make this part of my business and, and change the way we do things in some cases that has a long-term impact. After the pandemic, NTT recognized many things had changed. 
we see that society is constantly changing. So as a global company, we must adapt too.